Hi, everybody. Hope you're doing well. This is Professor Monty, and we're talking about subsets. So I've written the notation, the definition, and the meaning up here. So if the notation looks like this, A, and then it looks like a, a C with a line underneath, that means A is a subset of B. And what that means is every element in A is also in B. So that's what a subset means, is everything in A is in B. The notation with out the equals means A is a proper subset of B. So every element in A is in B, but they're not equal. Kind of like a less than or equal sign. We can take the equal sign away if there's not an equals. Same idea, we take away that line if A can't equal B. So everything in A is in B, but they're not the same set. That would be a proper subset. So I've got some examples there. If we look at one, two, three versus one, two, three, four, well, we see every element that's in here is in there. So we know it's a subset. And you may say, wait, Professor Monty, that's a proper subset. And you're absolutely right. So we can write it as a subset because it satisfies the meaning or the, or the definition, if you will. Or you can just write, oh, but it's also a proper subset. That's an or right there. So you can either say, oh, it's a subset, which it is. It's also a proper subset. So you can use either of those two symbols and those are both correct. What about ABC and ACB? Well, this has the letters A, B, and C. This also has the letters A, B, and C. So it is a subset. But these are actually equal to each other. Remember, in sets, the order doesn't matter. So these are equal to each other. So it's not a proper subset. So if we wanted to, we could do the subset, the proper subset symbol and put a line through it. So it's a subset, but it's not a proper subset. And then lastly, I have A, B, C, and one, two, three. Remember from cardinality, these would be equivalent sets. They have the same number of elements in them, but obviously this set doesn't have any of these numbers, let alone all of them. So it's not a subset. Or we could say it's not a proper subset either. And so that's the idea. Simple as that. Work with it. Practice these. It'll come to you pretty quickly. All right. Best of luck to you.